What up, world? It's your boy, Big B Jack, and I'm back on B Jack's Hip Hop Shop with a segment I like to call Level Up Your Lifestyle, where we do just that. You know what I'm saying? I give you ideas, advice, and tools to level up your life uh, fin financially, physically, mentally, all that jazz, man. So what we're going to do today is we're going to work on that brain power, and we're going to show you seven things narcissists use to make you look like the problem all right seven ways narcissists try to make you look like the problem we'll say that all right number one they lack accountability all right um that well this ain't even number one this is off the rip this is what narcissists this is what narcissists do first off they lack accountability so you can't ask them no questions about anything that they've ever done wrong you might as well forget about it <laughs> All right, but number one, uh, seven ways narcissists try to make you look like the problem. Number one, they love to bait you into an argument, all right? A conflict and or make you look angry to make you look unstable and like the problem, all right? So you got to be careful of who you're dealing with because some people will literally um, try to make you look like the problem every time, even though they're the problem, they'll flip around on you to the public and to their community, their family, their friends, all of that stuff, and make you look like the problem. So if they try to bait you because you're already angry at something they've done that they won't take accountability for, now the little thing that they do, they know they can push the butt, push your buttons, and now you look like you're just an angry person just for no reason. And people looking at you like, what the hell are you mad about? And you're like, I don't even know. The narcissist is like, I don't even know, but they're lying and they're gonna make you look like the problem. All right, number two is, insisting that you justify yourself so once again they lack accountability so you can't ask for no justification for for their actions whether it's fucked up you know what i'm saying or just crazy outlandish because these narcissists are, are crazy man they're you know what i'm saying uh take stuff from you and look help you look for the stuff they will um abuse you emotionally mentally financially and then turn around and act like you're the problem you know what I'm saying? Some way, somehow. And then once again, they're going to insist that you justify why you feel the way you feel when they're going to, you know, they, they basically say that their perspective is the only perspective with the way that they move and operate. All right. Number three, they shame you for your independent thoughts or not having their opinion or preferences. Just like I said, you know, they want you to have their opinion. They want you to feel like they feel. And if you don't, that's a lot of the time why they end up, you know, being in conflict with people. And because once the, the main thing with the narcissist is this, they like to manipulate everything in their life. They like to control everything. So what, what they can't control makes them extremely angry. And what they do is it's like a robot malfunctioning. And then they go this way when they're supposed to be going this way. Um, and then they make it look like you did something wrong. So be careful and cautious of that. You know what I'm saying? The, the main thing is, is that if somebody is pushing they, they, their, their opinions and thoughts on you so hard and heavy like that, you probably need to get away from them because, you know, real people don't, are not that pushy. You, your people, your fam, your fam, your friends, all of that, they should not be forcing you to look a certain way. It's one thing to have you open your eyes and say, yo, these are other options, but most narcissists only care about their ideas and opinions. Excuse me, I mean, opinions, not options, but um, they don't want you to have your own opinions. So be wary of that. All right, number four, you are responsible for their moods. <laughs> That's the one that throws me off every time, man. Number four, you're responsible for their moods. And that means that if they're happy, they're gonna thank you. If they're mad and sad, they're gonna blame you. You feel what I'm saying? So be careful and cautious of that because there is really no in between. They're either happy or they're mad. <laughs> and they're ready to destroy everything in their path. So be careful and cautious of that. All right, number five, um, they always have bullshit excuses. You know what I'm saying? Like they don't have real down to earth, thought out, you know, even, you know, realistic, ex not even excuses, but, you know, um, uh, reasons for their actions or none of the stuff that they've done against you for you to be like, yo, man, what's up with that? Then they won't hold, they, they don't even hold themselves accountable. So you can never get the justification of why they did what they did, which means that they did it just to manipulate you to get something from you. Now you got to go back and think what the heck it was that they was after because they only wanted something from you. They didn't want the long-term friendship, relationship, whatever, and this proves it. So yeah, man, that's the one that, that gets me every time. Number six, they intimidate you as if 
you have unrealistic boundaries. Um, and this one is crazy because what they'll say is, like, they got their own boundaries. I, I dealt with a few, and let's just say this. Some of the stuff that they don't want you to do as their, let's say for relationship purposes, or, you know, even friends, I, some, some friends who are very, very territorial, let me say, uh, who make it to where they want to control the atmosphere of everybody around you. Let me give you an example. I go to a party, you know, and it's at so-and-so's house and this person is introducing me to so-and-so. They, so this, this person that I came with doesn't want me to have a relationship with the other person outside of them. You feel me? That's just crazy. But they intimidate you as if you have unrealistic boundaries and then they also try to have boundaries with you. It's crazy. Number seven, they try to make you look like the narcissist. This is a big one and it's, it's, it's one that is pretty, unfortunately, it's pretty easy for them to do. Excuse me. It's, it's, it's easy for them to do because they're going to have you so revved up and so ready to whoop their ass, you know what I'm saying? Slap a bit season, whatever. <laughs> as I'll be saying, um, that's my that's my phrase. Don't take that. That's me, slap a bit season. Um, <laughs> they, they try to make you look like the problem. Once again, they try to make you look like the narcissist. Um, end game is, all right, so overall, you know, the end game is to wear you down and make you give up because they got to make you... They, they always have to have an enemy or an adversary. Any, if you know anybody who is a narcissist or you think they're a narcissist, the number one thing is that you know about them is that they always got somebody that they fighting against. Somebody always against them when you see them. You know what I'm saying? That's a true nar narcissist right there because ain't nobody got time to just be thinking about you that, that much to just dog. You know what I'm saying? Be, nah, man. <laughs> they become adversarial with themselves, meaning they start fighting with themselves. Nah, they don't even know what's going on. Nah, I don't even know, man. I'm sorry. It was stuff from my past and it just took it out of you. Listen, we grown, dog. <laughs> we grown as hell. We don't play them games. What y'all need to know is seven ways narcissists try to make you look like the problem. You heard it here first, man. B-Jack's Hip Hop Shop. I'm out of here, man. Level up your lifestyle. Y'all know what it is, man. Make sure you hit that like button. Hit that subscribe. Share this episode. Share this clip with everybody that you know, man. Seven ways narcissists try to make you look like the problem. I'm out of here.